Hey guys, how you doing out there? Uh, this is the uh, one month after surgery update and uh, as you can see, um, most of it's shed. It seems to be still be holding on here. You can see the, um, the original kind of uh, the line where it, what, where it was transplanted up to here. And there is, you can, you can feel that. There is a slight, um, I don't know if that feeling that you get there is some of the original hair that was initially shaved right the way down to the flesh. There's almost like a, that has got regrowth there. There's two separate lengths. You have this here, which you can clearly see, and then up tight, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's definitely finer, shorter stuff coming through, which I, I'm only guessing is maybe my original hair. I'm unsure. So I'll show you the top. It seems to be um, really shedded here. Um, I think there was less field in the middle anyway. Um, I don't think you're really going to be able to tell until it starts growing back. But yeah, this is this is one month after surgery, and I I would typically walk around like this. I mean, I tend to put a hat on, it just just because really baseball cap or whatever it might be. Uh, but I'm very comfortable walking around um, town like this. I'll show you the sides now. I've shaved the sides down with a kind of general sort of purpose beard and hair grooming kit, you know. And I've set the number to number six. Now, what that equates to in a hairdresser's, I, I really am unsure. But as a general feel, I would say probably if you went into a hairdresser's and asked for, I don't know, that feels probably about like a grade four-ish or something like that. I, I, I genuinely don't know, but I'll I'll show you the size. Now, you can still see um, the slight hair length difference of where the scar, the strip was taken out. So it hasn't completely gone, but it's certainly, you'd have to really look for it to know that it was there. And it certainly doesn't bother me walking around with just a faint line. So you'll, you'll get to see it here. I'll try and give you guys a shot now of, of the side. And you can probably just see it just run down here. Uh, the back, I think, is probably a, a little fuller. So I don't think you can see it as much. I'll give you the other side. Sorry about the camera for whizzing around. But I maybe need to do something else about mounting this. But so yeah, you can see it here. I'll go around the back. But it's really comfortable, you know. I've got no issues with that at all whatsoever. Um, all good. I think the only thing I'd say with the scar is, um, yeah, one month on. I would say about three weeks in, it, it became a little bit more sensitive. Now I don't know if that, and you get the odd sort of ingrowing hair. Whether that was just where the hairs were starting to come through the scarred area. It just felt a lot more sensitive. So things like leaning your head back against the headrest, it feels different. Um, you're sitting there on the sofa and your head's touching, there's a an unusual kind of slight numbness, but it's not It's not discomfort, it's not uncomfortable, it's fine. It just feels slightly different. Um, the top, the skin I would say is still, still numb. I wouldn't completely, but it certainly has a different Different feel from here to there where the grass were put in, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really pleased. I'm, I'm really comfortable with where it is. Uh, Maitland Clinic actually contacted me yesterday. Doctor Ball uh, had contacted me just to see how things were going and uh, asked if I could just send a picture down, just to sort of show him where we were. And he said he was pleased with how it was. It was pretty much on course. And I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pleased. I mean, I've never, I've never shaved my hair down this short before. Um, and I, I'm not unhappy actually about um, having my hair this short. I the the more I kind of look at it, I think I don't I I, I didn't want to be bald. I could have lived with it. I think you know now now it's done. But I'm certainly happy that I've had the work done, knowing that at some point this will really thicken up and come through. Um, so I, I, I there's not really a huge amount more I can give you other than this is where we are one month after surgery um, I'm still taking the medication everything's fine I'm not due down to see uh, the guys down at the Maitland Clinic for quite a few months and I will just keep updating you on the first of every month so hey happy new year to everyone out there um, yeah I, I will certainly update you on the first of every month just to give you a progress report really but I'm really happy that one month in you can walk around with albeit a pretty bald head, but no, no, no one really notices. No one says anything, and like I say, I'll, I'll give you another look at the side so you guys can 
get a good look, that's the whole point, right? I'm not unhappy with that. I'm really not, you know, really comfortable. I'm sorry I keep stroking it, it's like some it's like some little baby hedgehog. Um yeah, well, let me give you see if I can get a better close up shot so you guys can have a good look. I can't give you much more of an update than that really. Um other than the fact that I'm pleased with how it's going. Uh, I hope this uh this post has helped you guys, you know, on the journey of finding, you know, your answers to, to maybe getting a hair transplant. I know I've had some contact on YouTube. Uh and I, and, and I hope that any of the comments I make or anything that I post on here helps in any way. You know, it's, uh, it's it can only be a positive if we can draw from, from these kind of videos. It certainly helped me. So I hope it's helping some of you guys out there. So I'm going to sign off. I will see you guys again on the 1st of Feb. And uh, once again, yeah, Happy New Year. And uh, I will catch you guys really soon. Take care. Bye-bye now.